What is meant by riba in the Quran? And is it the same to interest taken from banks? Riba is defined as an addition taken over specific things. And there are two types, main types of riba, riba nasi'ah and riba al-fadl. Riba nasi'ah is an exchange, an increase in the amount in exchange for delay of payment. And usually it is associated with debts. So I give you a thousand euros and you should return it back to me after one week. After a week, you said, sorry, I'm defaulting. I, I can't give it to you. I said, okay, if you don't give me my thousand euros, then you'll give me 1,100 euros after another week. So the hundred is riba, and it is a major sin. Sometimes there is no delay. It's in, uh, simultaneous, but in specific categories, that is gold, silver, wheat, barley, salt, and dates, they have to be exchanged simultaneously and alike. So I cannot give you a one kilogram of dates in exchange for two kilograms of a different type of dates. This is total riba. And what the banks are doing is the same concept. So you either borrow from them an amount that you must return with interest, this is riba, or you deposit your money with them and they give you interest and this is riba. And riba is one of the seven major sins in Islam. Allah mentioned it in Surah Al-Baqarah chapter 2 that those who deal in riba will wage war against Allah and the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And may Allah protect us from all of that. Now, uh